All right. Good evening, Corpus Christi. We are here live on Carroll Lane and Holly for a major vehicle accident that has turned fatal. Uh, according to the Corpus Christi police scanner, uh, at around 8, uh, 8.50 p.m., uh, the Corpus Christi Fire Department and Rescue was dispatched to a uh, vehicle on fire after a uh, vehicle that ran the stoplight, as you can see here on Holly and Carroll Lane, there's going to be an uh, intersection here, and as you can see there, uh, this black truck, and I cannot get the model, make, or year of it, uh, was on fire, and when the, uh, <clears throat> the fire department and uh, first responders uh, came to the location. They did uh, find one person to be uh, deceased. As of right now, I don't have that com confirmation, but that's what I heard over the scanner, guys, once again. If you guys can please share this video with your friends and your family. Also, uh, tag your friends if you have to and uh, allow them to uh, understand what's taking place. This vehicle, uh, this black truck, went through the fence here at the corner of Carroll Lane and uh, Holly. So, as you can see, this fence is uh, damaged and uh, the black truck here, um, you might be able to get a model make just with the tires or the wheels there. So, if you guys uh, know what's going on here, once again, we're at a major vehicle accident, two vehicle accidents, maybe three vehicles that were involved. I'll show you some more damage here. This was a real loud bang that occurred whenever the accident happened. I'm hearing from witnesses. I'm hearing from uh, nearby residents that this was a very loud crash. It looks like a 4 by 4 as you can see there. Uh, the, the back end of that truck. That truck turned on fire. And when officers and first responders got to the location, the vehicle was on fire and they couldn't... Uh, get a pulse on the uh, the driver there so please share this video with your friends and family I don't have any confirmation or identity of those or that individual inside of that truck but I will show you the other truck that was also involved and they have yellow tape this area is going to be blocked off going northbound uh, I'm sorry uh, you can only go northbound on Carroll Lane so you have to take a right here and you cannot go into the uh, Crestmont neighborhood uh, just up ahead on Carroll Lane on Holly. So as you can see, there's another vehicle. This vehicle, this driver has been uh, transported to uh, Spawn Shoreline. And you can see, let me back this up. You're starting to see traffic back up all the way towards Weber Road on Carol, uh, on Holly and on Carroll Lane. So please share this video with your friends and your family. Allow them to take uh, notice and recognize that this is a, a fatal accident if you have any friends or family that were involved in this accident please check on your folks there the Corpus Christi Police Department will be investigating this crash I did over here that uh, someone may have ran the red light and caused a major vehicle accident here um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be the gray truck it looks like it was struck on the other side or maybe had uh, looks like some front, uh, heavy front end damage there in the front let me see if we can. We're getting some heavy front end damage, some uh, some infrastructure damage, and you can see there the black truck is uh, is the one that turned on fire, and that's where uh, it is uh, suspected of a um, of what they call a, a 32 or a, a confirmed death when officers arrived. So. Uh, please say a prayer for the family of this individual that was inside this vehicle. I'm not sure it could have been a medical episode or some other type of cause that caused this vehicle to possibly run a red light or this vehicle. I'm not sure who's at fault. Once again, guys, this accident is going to be under investigation for quite some time. As you can see, they have yellow tape. The Corpus Christi Police Department will divert traffic away from this area. You have lots of different... Uh, <clears throat> lots of different... Uh, units here on scene and on standby we're trying to get a better view here as what they're actually doing inside that vehicle looks like they're trying to stop something or maybe some gas I'm not sure looks like they got some type of uh, machine there to test something so this is gonna be the gray truck that was involved that driver was uh, taken to spawn shoreline 
okay spawn shoreline is going to be uh, where that dr uh, driver was taking it. and on this vehicle here on this black truck this 4x4 might be a Ford I'm thinking if you guys know the make and model of this 4x4 I'm not sure I think only uh, Fords make the 4x4s I'm not sure guys please help me out on that I'm not a, a vehicle expert uh, so as you can see that 4x4 emblem it could be a um, Chevy as well I'm not sure yeah it looks like someone said Chevy in the, in the uh, on the comment section and there's gonna be extensive damage to this home and the fence here so that vehicle went into the to the fence and caused some uh, damage as well guys please once again how's it going uh, once again guys make sure to uh, say a prayer for the individual in this fatal accident uh, we'll try to provide you more information as it comes in and uh, this is a horrible accident and a tragic accident that happened here on Caroline and Holly today tonight uh, it is 9 28 p.m. thank you guys for uh, uh, spreading the word and allowing the families and individuals that may be uh, involved or in contact with the family uh, of all individuals that were involved in this accident this is going to be a major vehicle accident uh, and one person is dead right now one and I know another person was uh, another person was um, killed so I'm sorry to say this to you guys but one person who has died and it is uh, tragic and we'll continue to update you guys on demand this video is brought to you by Perkins and Perkins trial attorneys and if you need an attorney you can always call Perkins and Perkins uh, for your cr uh, criminal and uh, personal injury case if you guys want me to stay on live we can stay on live just let me know in the comment section or what you can do is just get a uh, send me a heart and we'll continue to uh, go live here on this scene uh, just let me know in the comments or just you know give us a heart reaction and uh, we'll go from there Hey guys, please be safe. If you're passing by this area, please to pay attention in front of you at all times. And, uh, you know, this is, could be a real bad situation if you're not paying attention in front of you. I know a lot of people are looking at the accident, and it is uh, a, a real bad accident. But please pay attention in front of you. Please don't rear in anybody and uh, or you hit somebody in front of you. That could be a, a real bad situation here. Once again, guys... Uh, fatal accident here on Holly and Carol Lane. Uh, two vehicle accident. One person ran the uh, red light, and I'm not sure if it could have been a medical uh, cause or not. I, I could probably try to get a better uh, view if I get on the other side, but it's all blocked off on the right hand side of me, so I won't be able to get you that footage uh, early on. As you can see, all the traffic is going through this little store here to get out of that uh, situation. That's coming on from uh, Castoris onto Carol Lane on Holly. So, guys, be aware, divert traffic if need be, and also please be safe tonight. It is Friday night, and uh, we'll try to continue to update you. We'll be on the beat tonight, the Corpus Christi Chronica. Guys, I appreciate all the support and love that you guys have shown us over the years, and uh, it is much. Uh, it, it, it is. It means a lot to me, and and, and I'm appreciative of all that. So thank you guys uh, for watching in, uh, tuning in here on the Corpus Christi Chronica. We'll give it to you live, on demand, in real time, every single time. And uh, if you guys have any questions, we'll take it to the comment section right now. Or any concerns, we'll, we'll go ahead and take it in the comment section if you want to say something. Uh, or if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, okay? Black Chevrolet Silver Dodge. There you go. We have the uh, that confirmed here. Black Chevrolet 
and Silver Dodge. Thank you, Christy Landon Britt, uh, for that information. And I trust my viewers all the time. If they say it's a black Chevy and a silver Dodge, uh, then I believe them because that does look like a Dodge there. But we can confirm it right now again if we can get to the tail end of that uh, truck. And we'll get you uh, a make and model there. You know anything on the black truck driver? I don't have any information on the black truck driver, but I will try to provide you that with as soon as possible. Is yes, and that looks like it's going to be a Dodge. What truck is the fatality, guys? The fatality uh, that truck that was on fire in the beginning is going to be the the black Chevy that wrecked into this fence area or home over here on this side uh, and you are looking at it live right there and I think they do have a, a blue cover over it so that we cannot see anything okay so we'll just try to turn that away uh, a little bit where it's covered so we don't have to really cut you know but there's a a, a fatal Oh, somebody that died in there, so, yeah, it turned on fire, so, you know, that that in itself uh, can, you know, your vehicle's not supposed to turn on fire after an accident, so that, you know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not a personal injury attorney or anything, but I do know that your vehicle's not supposed to turn on fire. Thank you so much, Marta Pereda Fuentes, for the, uh, for the shout out there. And I think that's all we have. Uh, I think that's all we have in the comment section. So we'll go ahead and uh, end it up here. Just another weekend like this is every weekend. Uh, not every weekend, uh, but, you know, somewhat. You get accidents like this all the time. So, guys, once again, you, we got a lot of traffic here on Holly. It's a heavy, uh, heavy populated area. So please divert your traffic if you can. And uh, I'll continue to update you guys on demand in real time as soon as I get more information, okay? Thank you, Annette Lee from Austin, Texas, watching. Anyone recognize who it may be? I don't have, I haven't seen anything in the comment section yet of who it might be or, you know, Corpus Christi is a big city but a small town attitude, so we kind of know, everybody knows everybody. But, um, I'm trying to, the lights of this uh, ambulance or fire truck uh, kind of throws off the lighting there but this is all I can get you right there guys that's gonna be the probably the best uh, photo or video shot thank you Elda Vega Robledo from Laredo Texas watching please share this video out there in Laredo let them know how the Corpus Christi Cronica is here live on the scene uh, thank you Candelario Garza Thank you, Rosa Lopez from Brownsville, Texas. The RGV's in the house. Thank you, Sylvia from Casa Grande, Arizona. Please share the video out there in Arizona. Alma Mata Olvera, thank you for watching from Houston, H-Town, Texas. Please share the video out there in H-Town. Thank you, Sandra Hernandez. Thank you, Lala. from Reno, Nevada. Great job. Thank you so much, Lala. Please share this video out there. Aaron Ayala with AAA Asset Recovery out there in Victoria, Texas. Thank you, Aaron Ayala. Very good friend of mine. Leonardo Briseño from Deer Park, Texas. Thank you, Leonardo. Uh, please share this video out there in Deer Park, out there by Houston, Texas. Uh, caught on fire, turned on fire. Uh, yeah. Let's see who else we got here. I know we have some more... Uh, 
David Gonzalez from Alice, Texas. Thank you for uh, watching. Lynn Flores from North Korea. Wow. Karina Reyes Bean from Mathis, Texas. Thank you for guys for watching. And he's, where about on Holly? We're on Caroline and Holly, Rosie. Caroline and Holly. Zoom out a little bit. Let's try to get some more. Uh, open up the footage. Debbie Rodriguez from Rockport, Texas. Thank you guys. Please share this in Rockport. Lisa, thank you. Lisa Lee Lee. Watching from Gulikan. I don't know where that's at, but hey, shout out to Gulikan. Rochester, Texas is in the house with Alice Sanchez watching. Thank you, Alice. Please share this with your friends and your family out there. All right, guys. Linda Herrera from Armarillo, Texas, and Irma Rosales from Mathis. Larry Science. Oklahoma hey guys we're we're uh, Corpus Christi is um, most definitely fired up today or this evening so we got a black Chevy and a silver Dodge truck okay all right guys we're gonna go ahead and end it look at Dee Dee there she is from Annaville thank you guys uh, Lisa uh, Robertson uh, from Ben Bolt, Texas. Handyman Service and Remodeling is watching from Corpus Christi. Tommy Guns, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, James, James Davis from Tecolote, Texas. Prayers from Tecolote, Texas. There you have it, guys. I appreciate it. Lupita Corredo from Pensacola, Florida is watching. And uh, we're going to go ahead and end the Facebook Live. Thank you guys for watching us here on demand in real time. We'll go ahead and uh, end the live here. Thank you. Gilbert Gutierrez from Alice, Texas. Shout out all the way from Alice, Texas. Lynn Slayton Daniels from Alice, Texas. Big and Alice, obviously. And then uh, Margie Piper from Aransas Pass. Thank you guys. J.D. Ochoa from Port Lavaca, Texas. And Luis Morales from Edinburgh, Texas. Emilio Jose Sanchez, he's watching from Puerto Rico. And uh, we got a lot of people from all over. And that's why the Corpus Christi Cronica is going to be your number one news station right here in Corpus Christi. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll be here on demand, on the beat, and in real time. Take care. Rose Azadua from Rosenberg, Texas. Prayers from the family and uh, young man, please be safe. Thank you so much. Rose Anzaldúa.